In this video, I will share with you how to add text all around your 360 photo, just like this, in Affinity Photo. So let's get started. In this example, I will use this 360 photo. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up Affinity Photo, click close, then go to the folder with your 360 photo and drag the 360 photo into Affinity Photo. Click the padlock to unlock the layer. Next, I'm going to create the text. So to do this, hold down the text tool and select the frame text tool. Drag a text box on the 360 photo. I will change the size of the text to 48. And I will type my text, writ in water, which is the location of this particular photo. Next, I will highlight the text and change the font to Poppins. I will choose the bold version so it stands out from the 360 photo and I'll change the color to white. Click the Move tool and drag the text box to the size of the text. Click Center Align and Middle Align so now your text is in the center of your 360 photo. Next, I'm going to add some drop shadow so the text stands out from the 360 photo. So to do this, select the text, go to effects and check outer shadow. Click outer shadow to edit the properties. I will increase the radius to make the shadow more prominent. I will increase the offset so the shadow moves down. I will leave the intensity at zero so the shadow is soft and I'll change the blend mode to soft light so the shadow isn't too strong. Then click close and now the text stands out from the 360 photo. The next thing I'm going to do is create three copies of the text. So to do this, select the text, press Command C on the keyboard to make a copy and Command V to paste the text Hold down shift on the keypad and click and drag the text to the right hand side. With this text selected, press command C on the keyboard to make a copy and command V to paste the text. Hold down shift and click and drag this text to the right hand side. Then select the text in the center, press command C to make a copy and command V to paste the text. Hold down the shift button and move this text to the left hand side and you now have four copies of the text which you can place in the front, left, right and back of the 360 photo. To embed the text into the 360 photo we will do it one by one. So select the 360 photo, go to layer, live projection, echo rectangular projection. Next you need to choose the center point of your 360 photo so click Heading and move the slider left and right to choose the center point of your 360 photo. I will change my heading to 92 and tap Enter. Click Center Coordinate System and now this view is the center point of my 360 photo. Click the Move tool and select the text in the middle. Go to Layer and Merge Down. And now this text has been merged into the front of the 360 photo. Next, let's add the text into the left hand side of the 360 photo. To do this, click Edit Live Projection, change the heading to 180 degrees, click the Move tool, click the text, center the text, and align the text in the middle. Go to Layer, Merge down. And now this text is in the left hand side of your 360 photo. Next, let's add the text to the right hand side of the 360 photo. So to do this, click Edit Live Projection, change the heading to zero, click the Move tool, select the text, center the text, and align the text in the middle. Go to Layer. Merge down 
And now this text is in the right hand side of your 360 photo. Finally, let's add the text at the back of your 360 photo. So to do this, tap Edit Live Projection and change the heading to 270 degrees. Click the Move tool, click the text, center the text, align the text in the middle, go to Layer and click Merge Down. And now when I look around the 360 photo, the text has been merged all around the 360 photo. The next step is to export your 360 photo. So to do this, go to Layer, Live Projection, Remove Projection, and here you can see the final 360 photo with the text merged. Go to File, Export, Choose your settings here, go to more and make sure embed metadata is checked and this will keep the 360 metadata. Click close, click export, choose a file name for your 360 photo. I will add some text on the end of the file name so I know this is my 360 photo with text added. Choose a folder to save your 360 photo to and click save. That's it. Hit the like button if you learned something new, subscribe to learn more, and I'll see you in the next video.